If you happen to be a use case aficionado, if you happen to like use cases as a way of working, you can skip this entire section. This is basically a simple introduction to the concept of use case paths and doesn't go beyond that because when we're developing a bot, we don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, documenting something multiple ways. There's a thing called the main path, sometimes called the happy path, and that is basically the sequence of events that are going to unfold as you go from the beginning of the use case into the very end of the use case or the goal of the use case. And it's represented as a straight line because it is assumed that nothing is ever going to go wrong. It's always going to work just perfectly, and all you have to do is follow the step, step by step. The example we're going to use here of customers paying the premium with a valid credit card, then the flow is going to go directly down the main line. However, what happens if they happen to pay with an electronic money order or uh, something like that happens? So there are situations which are going to be different. Those in, the, in a use case diagram are indicated by branching off of the main flow, the main path, and having an alternate path in some way, shape, or form, and then going back to rejoin the main path. Now, the reality is that on a, in a uh, typical use case dia flow diagram, what you're going to see basically are alternate paths that always come back to the main line. Sometimes they come back to a different point in the main line. Sometimes they return to the same point in the main line after they have done something different. There are going to be different ways of representing that. So I'm trying to create a bot that performs these activities. Arrows that are coming off of the blue line are going to become conditions where in the, in the bot I have different choices that I'm going to be making. In the use case philosophy, there's another uh, type of, it, of flow, and that is called an exception path. Exception paths are paths that do not end up satisfying the ultimate goal. This is basically if I'm dealing with a use case flow for a bot, where I would have things like, this is where we're going to branch off and talk to a human. We're going to uh, get out of the bot because we cannot reach the ultimate goal of the bot the way the bot is designed. The most common exit out of this is going to be talk to a human. Obviously, there could be other situations where the bot recognizes that the user is trying to confuse the bot and just playing with it, not achieving anything, just trying to make, run it in circles, keep it busy. Given today's world with denial of service attacks uh, being one of the tools that hackers love to use, I would recommend always making sure that if in your bot you have the ability for the customer to run into a loop where they're going to be asked the same question over and over again, I would definitely design an out where it says, okay, if we've tried this X number of times, it's time to quit. This is basically one way of representing a the conditions that are going to lead to different flows and if I were designing this bot, and if I happen to, ha if I happen to have a predisposition to use case to, uh, flow diagrams, that would be what, the way I would represent it.